tonight on Bondi Rescue Bali. A ghost ship runs aground on one of Bali's best surf breaks. Oh, my God. <coughs> a mother and her two sons are caught in pounding waves. Definitely one of the worst rescues I've ever probably done. And Harry's recruits some young helpers. Are you and my apprentices? Yeah. yeah. To do his dirty work. Do you feel that's ethical? <laughs> I've never been prouder. It's peak season in Bali. One of the world's great surfing destinations turns it on. A powerful swell pushes up from the Indian Ocean. In the challenging conditions, Tuna's lifeguards are on high alert. Spinal injuries are a constant danger as inexperienced swimmers encounter big waves and shallow sandbanks. Watch the wave, watch the wave. Now, Cooter's brand new spinal wave, board gets a workout wave. as Terry oversees a professional training course. Now talk to him. The challenge is to train what is essentially a 110-person lifeguard service in this safe use and effective use and professional use of all the equipment they've been given. Come over the top, brace his head. Immobilising suspected spinal injuries is crucial. The slightest movement can cripple a patient suffering a neck or back fracture. Now, head man, who's our head man? Stay with him, support that head. The guys have been really attentive and really uh, passionate about the training they're receiving. And once we get this out and roll it out onto the beaches and save some lives, I think it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Have you told him what's going on? Tell him they're going yeah. to hospital. Kita ke hospital sekarang. You are good to go? Yeah. Hospital driver. As the training continues, Tom and Whippet attend a commotion down the beach. Hey, just one save your life, that's it. But Hold you keep... Hold the water. Yeah, because you keep swimming there. I tell you, I tell you to go out, you keep swimming. OK, if you want to go die, go die. A group of Russian tourists have just been rescued by a local surf school operator. Oh, he's just a little upset, that's all. It's just because he probably thought you guys were in trouble. Don't go out too far. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing in them because it's not. <laughs> Really dangerous. This is the current game, so just stay at waist depth. Thanks, guys. We just try to save them life. Yeah. That's it. And they just laugh in your face. Exactly. But well, next time you go the there, time. but I don't gonna, I'm not gonna let them die. You know. Yeah, Even no. what? Even no, what? Thanks for your help. No worries, bro. Appreciate it, Makasi. Right now. Elite has surfed Kuda all his life, yeah, and he's seen yeah. enough tragedy. Four months ago, these these people swimming from just like there, and then then and then the water start going low, and they keep, and then keep, they keep going there, and then one big set come the high tide, boom, and they drag them again, they die, and they die. Mom, father, and daughter die in the same time. Big swells hit Bali regularly during peak season. At post four, Yeoman makes a rare call. We just close to the, for the bit today for swimming area because the water is so rough. It's hard to tell them because they come to Bali, they come to the beach. Of course, they want to swim, but we try to tell them. We just try to do the best how we can. Just keep telling them, don't go too far. Further up Kuda, the big swell has already claimed a victim. Got done by a big wave, hit my head and there was a crack in my lower back. ATV, ATV contact. Marcello calls for the new spinal board. Yeah, it's a, that's just a sharp pain in my back. Yeah. Okay. Andy, a 19-year-old English surfer, has just arrived in Bali. Okay. Is there something wrong with me? Tommy, this is Andy from England. Hey, Andy, how's it going, mate? Uh, been better, mate. Marcello? Yes. I'll get Marcello into the head here, please. Yeah. Just come in, just slide. Terry's spinal training is put to good use. Marcello takes charge of stabilising Andy's head. Just pull it out. Yeah, I think maybe my head might be good as well. 
bleeding. Yeah. It's sharp, hey. You've got to That's get an x-ray to fly. find out Look whether you've got a broken vertebra or not. I sort of know I like to fly. Nah, you just think that check out. You want to be all right to fly. No, do what you want, you do what you want. As Andy's being treated, Whippet and Tom are suddenly needed at post four. I've got to go to four. Go, go, go. Head up that end, Only this week we brought that equipment on site. Only this week we've run through the training with all the pro lifeguards. I'm confident the fact that we've packaged him up so professionally that he's going to be OK, we'll know in a matter of hours his fate. At post four, the situation is critical. Whippet helps rescue three swimmers being pounded by violent waves. So the three guys are in there. Tommy Whip, and they caught right in that impact zone, eh? Even a kilometre away, Terry can see what the boys are up against. It swells about a metre and a half plus, less than a foot deep, breaking on a really shallow sandbank. It just churns away. These are the toughest conditions his crew have dealt with on Kuda. Balani's lifeguards have managed to get a rescue tube on the woman. Now Whippet struggles to get her out of the danger zone. Controlling a rescue board with the dead weight of a patient is almost impossible. That looks bad down there, eh? In Kuda's treacherous impact zone, Whippet struggles to rescue a semi-conscious woman. He signals the patient urgently needs oxygen. She's safely ashore, but the woman's two sons are still in the surf. Yeah, come, come. <laughs> Where are you from? From France? From France. Yeah. Okay. Christelle is a French tourist. Despite almost drowning, she's not concerned for herself. Nice. Yeah, that's so cool. All right. All right. Take it easy. Yeoman rescues her eldest son. The youngest is still in the surf. Okay. Just put this on your face a little bit. A little bit. You just breathe. Yeah. Everyone just stand back a little bit. Guys, can you use yeah. a bit of room? Now the youngest boy <laughs> is safely ashore. Just take it easy. Your boys are okay. Yeah, your boys are okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, boys, yeah. do you want to just come around here? Just so say hello. Tell her you're all right. I'm going to do radio. Mate, I don't. Just hold it. Right. How much water did you swallow? How many mouthfuls of water? No, 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 that's good. Okay. Yeah. You breathe if you need it. There you go, that's better. Nice, deep, deep breath. Yeah, make sure we keep watch the water as well, because we can't let anyone else go while we're doing this. Okay. Keep watch the water, everyone. Your mum, she's okay. She'll be okay. Nearly drowning is traumatic enough for the boys. Seeing their distressed mother adds to the shock. You want to vomit? Just vomit. If not, just breathe in the oxygen. No English. Allez vous l'anglais? Is your son okay? I don't need a wine, sir. No, What? Okay. 14 year old remains breathing becomes rapid and shallow. Medical attention now turns to him. He's just hypo, just long, slow, slow. Yeah. Long, slow, deep breaths. Nice and slow. Seeing the crowd has alerted Christelle's okay. sister. You need to tell him to relax yeah. and yeah. just to breathe, breathe normally. Relax okay. and breathe normally. It's just yeah. shock. He needs to just breathe. Yeah. The poor son went into, you know, sort of. Sympathy shock, was, I guess. Uh, what seeing your mum in trouble is horrible. That was one of her main things out there. She was worried about her kids, obviously. And uh, she got pretty scary out there. It was definitely one of the worst rescues I've ever probably done. And just in terms of we just could not get in, it was just, just sucking us back and getting smoked. So. Yeah. Sweet? Yeah, just very shaky. Just. Yeah. I might just go have a little yeah, scoop yeah. of the sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. She tried to, to watch the waves and to know when to breathe and to tell the children to uh, go back on the beach, go back on the beach. But she panicked, so she just couldn't breathe normally. She was so panicked uh, for the kids, she couldn't uh, at the same time just breathe and see when the waves, when she could take some hair. Ben, moi, j'ai eu plus peur pour les autres que pour moi, en fait. Et puis, ouais. Ouais, well, they were both more afraid for the others than for themselves. Make you lazy. <laughs> Jump on. After two weeks on Cuda, the Bombay boys are settling in. That's so beautiful, mate. Okay. Well, you reckon one of the best? But exotic yeah, barley yeah, has a surprise in store. Overnight, a ghost ship has run aground on Padang Padang, a renowned surf break near Kuta. The captain and crew are missing. Yatesy and Chapo can't resist the temptation to investigate. Oh, this is absolutely disgusting. It's so sharp. Oh my god. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, look at these chips. Oh, my. oh, this is just putrid. This is heavy, mate. Oh. Two months earlier, the Taiwanese fishing boat sent out distress signals before disappearing off radar. Back on shore, rumours abound. There is talk that there was a mutiny whilst at sea. The boat hasn't been in contact with anyone for several months so it's past and its history is unknown oh, be careful oh this is a cooking quarters mate oh be careful <laughs> that's the kitchen no wonder they ran it up the reef and got off the thing rumor has it they even chucked the, the skipper overboard so yeah. you can tell why i mean he's the boss and look, look at the conditions that he's got him working in Exactly. Yeah, imagine this was our change room at home. Do you reckon we'd have Hoppo on for that one? Right. I'm about to hey. vomit. Just <coughs> a mutinous crew, a murdered captain. Now there's a new player in the mystery. What's happening here? Some pirates. Or we... Should we get off? Hello. We just we get off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we get off now. <laughs> Take me back to the sweet times, the hot nights. Everything is gonna be alright in the summertime. Baby, in the summertime, that is where I'll be. As lifeguards investigate the mysterious wreck, an unidentified boat approaches. It's okay? He's got some pirates. They are, mate. They are right? Be careful. I reckon they want the boat. Yeah, they probably want You want the boat. You keep it. Do you keep it? Yeah, yeah, you keep it. Yeah, that's what I thought. They want it. So where's the captain? I don't know. Maybe in here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe dead somewhere. Maybe they threw him over the edge. Do you want this? Uh... No. No, we don't do you, want... Do you, do you want... want boat? No, no, we don't want boat. We're just looking. We're just having a look. When the Balinese lifeguards turn up, they help set a few facts straight. Yeah. Do they, do they want the boat? They want to uh, push with the ten boat. Ten boat like the ten same. Ten boats like and that And pull one. back. Yeah, and then pull back. Wow. But not thinking about the petrol. OK. They, they're working okay. at low tide this afternoon. Yeah. OK. OK. Now we know. All right, good. That's all a bit clearer now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, so they are a salvage team. They don't want to keep it. But how to salvage a 50-ton fishing boat from a pristine reef? The bridge in there is full of diesel and petrol and just dead chickens and tubs of beef. And... Yeah, and if that, if that seeps through, 
into the ocean. It yeah, so there's a whole could escalate. so many issues going on in this place, and the swell the swell's a big issue too. Yeah, the swell. It's, we can feel I mean, it coming up now. Yeah. It's, it's, there's definitely bigger sets coming through now. And it'll just roll it over this reef and cut it to pieces, you know? The reef and the boat. Two days ago, lifeguards used new spinal equipment on their first real patient. Now, after x-rays, English surfer Andy has been given the all clear. You are our first test spinal case for these guys with their training and they work beautifully as a team and uh, I was really happy with the outcome. Good on you. Yeah, uh, me too. Yep. So you need to thank these guys every bit as much as uh, our guys because they did a wonderful job. Yeah, you know, so we love it. Thank you. Glad that you were all right. Much appreciated. That's what we want to see, Marcella. When we do a spinal, we want to see them come back in a couple of days like this, all happy, big smile on their face and no problems. At post three, Harry's wandering eyes spot a good-looking rescue just waiting to happen. They're entering into the rip. This would probably be the most valuable rescue that I'll ever do in the history of lifeguarding. They say I can run. I'll be running faster than I've ever run before for these two. <laughs> the women wisely decide it's too rough to swim, but Harry's devious plans haven't been foiled just yet. Plan B. Harry's has found some young cupids Ladies. all the way from Sydney. Are you my apprentices? We are. Yeah. All right, I've got a bit more handiwork that needs to be done out there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can see a love story forming. Oh. What about we get her on a couple of waves? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course she'll go out with you, Harry. Oh, that sounds You're good. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her that Harry's is ready to take a break. Okay. Still, I always like to work in a team. If it's, if it's not the lifeguard team, it's always good to have close allies working with you. And the young ladies are doing a fine job today. you got girls asking girls out for you. Yeah. Do you, do you feel that's ethical? <laughs> I've never been prouder. No one's yet solved the mystery of the ghost ship that's run aground on one of Bali's best surf breaks. But with an international surf competition just days away, the immediate challenge is to get the wreck off the reef. We're going to go out to the boat right now and check out where we're tying things on. So, okay. Local environmentalists Christian and John lead a salvage operation. A fleet of fishing boats will attempt to drag the wreck off at high tide. We're trying to catch a tuna with uh, five or six trout rods. <laughs> All we can try is just to get a line from the boat to try and move it. I mean. <laughs> it's a long shot at the moment. The tide's just running right now and they're all too late, so... Yeah. We, can feel the we can do what we can with what we've been given, right? The tide has already peaked. There's only a short window left to get the wreck off the reef. I need to run that down the outside. Securing ropes from the ten fishing boats is no easy task. Uh, hey, wait, now he wants it down here again. Uh, oh, for crying out loud, what is he doing? Why don't they listen in the first place? There's a couple of boats out of position, but we've got about 10 minutes left. So the tide's, it's just the tide's going out too much. The boat's starting to show now, so they've, just, they've been told just to start pulling. So this is where it's going to happen, I think. Yes or no, here. Yeah. Chinema! 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 If the wreck can't be moved, it will sit at the mercy of Bali's big swells and risk breaking up. No matter how hard they try, the wreck won't budge. Oh, it's not going to work, so we have to go to plan. Plan B. Yeah, copy that, mate. What? Um, what is it? <laughs> plan B. Uh, I'm going to try and get a decent sized anchor this afternoon, and John's going to uh, try and get a tugboat sorted out tomorrow on the high tide. It's uh, anything we can do, I think. Yeah, copy that, mate. Yeah. Oh well. I guess we'll um, we'll see each other tomorrow. Yeah, Back on Cooter, Harry's cunning plan to meet a girl is proceeding like clockwork. <laughs> That's really good work. I'm so proud of you, too. She's coming down. Oh, Yatey. Something's happened. There's a gorgeous lady from France that needs to catch a couple of waves. 
Flora accepts Harry's kind offer of her very first surf lesson. I feel good. I feel like I'm going to be very good at surfing. This could be a winner. Yeah, Harry. Awesome. Aussie, 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 Aussie. Swahi's the best. Harry's is the best in his element. It seems Harry's has the magic touch. But ever vigilant, Harry's abandons Flora to rescue a real damsel in distress. It's like a trouble man today. Took this chick out for a surf and ended up rescuing someone. There it is. She's just screaming for me. Was she? Screaming. The poor thing's just destroyed. It's just very lucky I was there. Good work, guys. Thank you. It's all your work. Huh? All your handiwork. After rescuing huh? one girl, Harry's has impressed another. She said, she said that she better marry you now that you saved someone. Did she really? Yeah. Oh, that's my lady. <laughs> oh, my <man. laughs> Yeah, I've met the perfect lady. This is perfect. You, you know what? Yeah, Do you fit like perfect? Like, yeah, I fit. You fit really well. Yeah, I know because I'm really I'll small. Hug each other. Hug each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we don't really hug people in France, but I have to learn it since we're gonna move to Paris together. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Overnight, Bali's big swells have done what 10 fishing boats couldn't. How did it get washed up against that rock so, so uh, quickly? What? Swell coming, they kicked the boat. Did you see that happen? Yeah, I'm seeing from Dromay Tower. Oh, really? With the diesel safely drained from its tanks, the ghost ship will be slowly cut up. Hopefully you'll have your beautiful coastline back shortly. While the fate of the captain and crew remains a mystery, Padang's international surf comp can get underway. Solid swell coming from the west, coming from a long way. And we aim for a ah. Eight-time world champion Kelly Slater serves his first heat at Rip Curl Pro. Bali. We don't know what kind of state is in. Drama beyond the break. He's unconscious. Uh, a holiday comes to an abrupt end. Yeah, don't have to my Life and death Balinese style. The bodies go inside the cows. And the Bondi boys get lost in translation. <laughs> 